and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Zenkai Jared or Zenkai Red debut 2. This is their follow up to part 1 which we posted last week. So I wanted to kind of finish off the series and I think we're, we're pretty much it. I think they've just pretty much finished it. But if you like this sort of content and you want to see more, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well as that cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And let's just jump straight into it. So this follows up and it's kind of it's a bit weird. It, um, Majin, she's turned into a human. Everyone is kind of wondering like what's going on, and she's trying to like kind of make sense. She's going like, looking into a crystal ball to get kind of information, but for some strange reason, it doesn't work, and she just decides to go crazy and eat loads of sweets within the snack shop. And I don't know why. I'm guessing it's like she's like, well, I don't care anymore. So why why should I, you know, do this? Or I want to try and eat and taste food while I'm a human type thing. And it's just a little bit kind of weird, but a little bit funny because she's just eating a ton of sweets while everyone's just standing back going, what, huh, what's going on? We then switch to the bad guys, which I'm guessing you're talking about, Zenkai Red as well as Zenkaija, and the way that, you know, they've tricked them to say that there's another one, that, you know, their ranks are falling apart, etc., etc. And the fact is that the main monster gave the fact uh, gave the the guy uh, the powers of Zenkaija and stuff like that, and thus therefore their plan is coming perfectly. And the fact that they've sent them an ultimatum to come and meet them at this particular time, which we're going to see, because Kaito um, talks to Sechan, who then gives them a scroll of this information and says, "Be here at this time if you want to know. Um, all of you, turn up, etc., etc." We then switch to uh, Gion uh, following the guy. And I'm guessing, like, originally I thought Gaion, like was ditching him completely and saying, like, I'm leaving your team, Kaito. I'm going to go with this other guy instead because, like, he's a big lead or something like that. Or I just want to join his team. And that's all you see. There is nothing more to it. Um, we find, like, I, it's quite an ingenious thing. For some strange reason, he's got bread and he's leaving a breadcrumb for Kaito. Now, I can see what the whole premise of this is, but... I imagine birds wanting to eat the eat it. I imagine that someone would sweep it up because obviously there's food on the floor. You know, it, it's just really kind of weird. Main red guy, I don't know what his name is. If you know, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, they start having a chat and he's wondering what's going on. I'm guessing the whole thing is like, you know, come join our team. We need you. You know, it'd be good. You know, you know, whatever. It's that sort of kind of talk. And then he go and he just goes, yeah, okay, cool. So we switch to um, Juran, Vrum, and Majin, and they're kind of like. I think they're pushing Majin mainly up up the hill because maybe she has no energy. Maybe she's had all the sugar. It, it's gone to her head. She's energized, and then suddenly she's on a sugar crush. Uh, sugar. She's on a sugar uh, low, so she's not really moving that, that uh, much forward. Like she doesn't want to do stuff. Basically, she has no energy for it. But the next part is that we see Vrun, he turns into a human, and then when Juran's like, Oh my god, you're human now! He turns into a human. He is by far the coolest looking one out of the lot, because I just feel like you could go to a bar with him, and you could drink and have a really kind of good conversation with him. So they're all kind of like, what's going on? Because crazy, you know, you're human, you're human, I'm a human, what are we doing? Type thing is, as we say. So now we get the typical... Double cross, as we see with all of this going on. And, you know, uh, Zenkai Red, he's like about to morph. They all can't morph. You know, obviously we saw this at the beginning. Why? So you kind of think, if I can't morph, then why are we even trying type thing? But Zenkai Red is about to, his powers just disappear out of the blue. And you know that he's been double crossed. We see the flashback to him going like, you know, what are you doing type thing? But literally his powers just disappear. He goes through that whole thing of like, my powers have gone, what am I going to do? Type thing as, as, as we normally see. Then Kaito gives him a speech and then restores his power for some strange, bizarre reason. And you kind of think, oh, does Kaito now have the ability to give powers to anyone that he wants? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that at the end. So they transform into uh, the Zenkaijas. We've got Zenkai Red, we've got Zenkaija, and 
they use the ability of Lupin Red and Pata Red, which I kind of really liked this ability because I could see that they're utilizing like teamwork, two people from different sides that have different agendas and they're coming together to do one big blast. And it's just literally the whole like aim, the blaster, fire, and you're pretty much done on this one. So as the main guy has been destroyed, the uh, the rest of the team turn back into their Kikanoid forms, and that's pretty much it. They morph, they fight, and then we get the, the generic monster grows up. Uh, we get the Zords coming in, or the Mega Zords, and then they go out to fight for a while. And at the very end, I thought before we find out what this all is all about, I generally thought that maybe we would have a thing where Zenkai Red turns around and says like, you know, I'm giving you the power back and Kaito's like, no, you keep it. And so therefore he would come in at a later date, you know, randomly just be like, I'm coming to help fight you. But what we get in this is quite a nice thing. In the past, when we've seen Rangers go into the white room, you know, they're getting a pep talk and we see all the kind of white stroke red Rangers, mainly all throughout the entire series, etc., etc., And I kind of really like this because there are two rangers in this. I'm hoping I'm going to get this right, which is, first of all, she's Ninja White from Kaka Ranger, and her name is um, Tushimihi. I, 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 I butchered that, and I'm so sorry. But I'm guessing she gives the pep talk of like, you know, you're part of the White Rangers, you know, you've got the power, you've got this, and then big one, he says like, hey, you know, you've got this as well and like carry on. It'd be very interesting to see what she says when it's been subbed, if it does get subbed, because that's what I would quite like to see. But in all general, like they give the pep talk, which I'm guessing is the same thing as when like we've got um, uh, 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 Aka Red and he's like saying stuff to the others in the past, like you can do this, you know, you're now part of the Super Sentais and stuff like that. So I kind of like this small kind of pep talk, but then, we find out that it's just a dream. And Kaito wakes up and he explains to everyone that, you know, there was, an, uh, there was a Zenkai Red. And everyone's like, oh no. And I think Joran steps in and like, I'm the only one who can be Red in this team. I'm Zenkai Red. You know, that, that sort of thing. Which, it didn't bother me. I just generally wanted this to be a, an actual thing rather than a dream sequence. Because I feel like a dream sequence isn't too bad but it just kind of negates everything. And seeing as the um, Zenkai Red leaves with the gear, I thought that he would come in at random times or at least have like the costume a bit more. Or like he gave it back and go like, this is your power up. And as he holds it in his hand, he's like, oh my God, I got it. I've got the power up. And then he's able to go into a super mode. But maybe that could be something much later on. But for in general, for like a short part thing, I really like this. Um, it was very kind of easy enough to follow because it's it's generally looking at the action So rather than waiting for a sub one I could literally tell what's kind of going on and I kind of liked the way that all the rain the white rangers did their poses You know where they're all doing like patty reds like oh, yeah, I like that I, I just loved it and I really want to see more of these I would love to see like a, a Zenkai pink or a Zenkai blue pop in at some point which would then give the uh, toy a lot of things that you say hey you like those red gears we've got blue and pink now huzzah and mo more money is made but yeah i like this um what did you think have you seen this and yeah, have you seen the first part link in uh, the description to the first review that i've done so you can check it out but yeah i generally kind of like this and i kind of really want to see more of it what would you do would you like to see this or would you like to see something completely different let me know down below in the comments and if you like this sort of content and you want to see more Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Channel